Good morning. What's up, Eddie? What's up, clickers? All right, listen. I'm in Florida now. As you know, I've been here since April, quarantining and everything else. And oof, I'm finally here. And I finally finished my comic book, my comic book room. They, you know, I got this three-bedroom condo, and this is the room that I was given. Wifey said, you can take this room and put all your stuff. I said, all right, I'll take it. And it took me a while to get it, but I finally finished it. It's 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 ninety five percent done. As a, as with the rest of the crib, you know, it's 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 getting there. We still got crates and boxes to unpack. Still got a lot of work to do, but for the most part, we're good. So I'm going to shoot this video in small parts. I'm definitely not going to shoot a twenty five minute video or. 30-minute video I'll just do little parts of it you know maybe 10 minute segments and then we'll just break it down I don't want you to get too bored so welcome to my comic book room which I like to nickname it the danger room like the X-Men <laughs> so come on come on inside with me and let's go right, let's open the door right there and as you can see, I got my little camera. I got my little thing on my little tripod. I don't have a camera yet, like a good, good, good movie camera. And that's okay. I like it. This is more fun for me. This is different for me. So here's the room in a nutshell. But we're going to start, like my man Juno did from Juno's Comics, we're going to start a little bit at a time. So what we're going to do is we're going to start right over here woo, by the door. We're going to start at the door. And then we'll just kind of work our way around the room, okay? All right. So at the door right here, you see, you got the uh, you got the dope, I you know, got the little mask. I used a bunch of masks I collected over the years, and I started to throw them out, but then I said, Nah, I'm gonna keep them. And there they go, right there. There's uh, you know, there's um, Black Panther, Batman's cowl. There's uh, Thor's hammer. Obviously, y'all can see it. Darth Vader. Iron Man, Thor's ham, you know, it's, rub it's the fake rubber one, not the good one that I wanted to give a depth, but it's lighter, so it works on the wall better. <laughs> Little sign I had back in the old crib, warning, no stupid people beyond this point. And if anyone says, then what are you doing in there? This is exactly why this sign is up here for you. <laughs> All right, so over here, this is a little, uh, that's the Indian, that's the, uh, I think that's the Hindu god. I don't know his name, but that was given to me by my, my one of my buds, man, Diego. Big comic book fan and a big comic book head and a collector of, of nice statues. I thought he had gave me a statue one time. I never could find it. So I don't know what happened to it. And there's a Gucci ribbon. I tend to reuse a lot of stuff I find. You know, because I grew up, you know, I grew up on labels. I ain't gonna lie. I grew up into Polo and po and, and La Tigra. And I, I, I like I like my gear to be a little fresh from time to time. I, I care about how I look, my appearance. But that's just a, a Gucci present we got. And somebody said, why are, you throwing, I'm throwing, why are you throwing out that ribbon? That's a good ribbon. And I saved it. And it made and it actually worked perfectly. It hangs him right there. Gives him a little style. And he brings luck and love to my uh, atmosphere. And I like that. Luck, luck and love. And there is the Spider-Man street sign that I got from a store up here. There's a store up here called Hobby Hobby Lobby. A big warehouse. It's like a Home Depot for hobbies. Hobby Lobby. Woo! They have a lot of cool stuff to hang up on the walls and stuff like that. So, I like that. Okay, so now let's see. Let's see. Now. Let me get this camera straightened out. All right. Okay, above that, there's a little Marvel... Uh, you know, picture like frame thing I had bought from Target, and I saved it all those years, and then finally found a place for it. It's a perfect spot for it right there. So that's the doorway. That's the doorway. Now we move over to the wall, and the first thing you got is my giant fat head posters, and that's the Detective Comics poster. I just got them framed, and I said I wasn't going to shoot this video until I got them all framed. And there's a uh, Fantastic Four, the, the big giant poster, the X-Men giant size number one, and the Avengers poster right there on that wall there. And if you pull back a little bit on the lower, 
got the uh, DC Universe poster right here and you can't see it too good over here because it's hidden behind my big speaker but yeah there it is it's the Marvel Universe poster and I hung those up let's 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 back it up to get a, a bird's eye view see so this is how the whole wall looks together there it is right there see like that that's the way I laid the posters out it was the best way I could lay them out eventually I'm gonna try to I'm gonna try to get some comic I want to get some comic books and put them in this area here and maybe hang a few comic books in that little square area right there I'm thinking right about there I can put like four comics one two three four I can put four right there just to fill that little space I don't want to go too low to the ground so probably that's about as high as I go so that's the plan for that little area there and once I get that done I'll tune I'll, I'll tune back in and show you how that came out uh, also there's my speaker my Mackie thump I have two of those you know I DJ for a DJ for fun and hobby and uh, always available to do parties if you need somebody cheap and you don't want to break your budget you know, check me out I might help you out if you're in the Kissimmee Florida area and you know but these days who's having parties anymore man people are you know getting sick man all the fun is gone but we chill, we still try, right? So, and as you can see, I'm a big Wu Tang fan, of course. That's just a nylon T-shirt that I they didn't have my size, so I said, well, fuck it. I'll just use it as a speaker cover. Keeps a lot of the dust out of the speaker. Tripod. Ah, something good to have in every comic book room: an air purifier. So, if you don't have an air purifier in your comic book room, I suggest you get one. You're gonna need it. Okay, yeah, and here's my DJ set, of course, that's what, up there is where my uh, laptop would go. There's my mixing board, and uh, my Newmark MixTrack Pro number 3, MixTrack Pro 3. Oh, a little dusty, so do a little dusting every day. Alright, so here's the lamp, here's a nice lamp I bought from, um, there's a store up here, I think I got this at, it wasn't Home Depot. Was it Home? I got this at Home Depot. Yes, I did. I got this at Home Depot. Home Depot is where I got this baby at. So it's a nice three, and it, it turns on three lights. You can turn on one, two, three it's separately. They turn on each separately, so you can use the amount of light you want to use, as opposed to you know all three. You can turn on one, and then you click it again, it turns on two. You click it again, it turns on three. You click it a fourth time, they all go off. So. And it, and at night this 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 light right here gives off so much good warm comforting light. It's it's perfect for this room. Perfect when I tell you. So when we do this video again, there'll be a night tour <clears throat> which won't take long. It'll just be, you know, show basically how it looks when I light everything up. So I got a lot of stuff in here that's lit doing it. It looks at night. And then of course up behind me when we get to that area, I'm going to show you all the stuff that I have that lights up. So that's it. That's it for that wall, and uh, this is how it. This is basically just how it looks. Let me give you another overview real quick. You know, see, I wasn't too good with the measuring, so I decided to. I decided to, uh, you know. <laughs> I mean, I could still move it over a little bit, but I just said, ah, screw it. I'm not. I'm not going back up there again. And that's that. And that's for, and that's that wall right there. And that's it. That's the door again, and that's the wall. So that's it for uh, part uh, part one of that video. Come back later for part two, and I'll show you guys uh, part two of the video. So what I'll do is, as I go through each wall, each wall we'll start again. We're going to start on this side now, right here, and work our way across here. So if you want to come back and see everything that's going on on this side, by all means, just. Uh, Tune in to part two or hit the link below to take you straight there. Okay? Love you guys. Peace from your boy Tone for Click C for Comics. Remember, collect them all and stay safe and play well out there. Okay? Thank you. Love you.